Hello everybody, well it's here finally Christmas Eve and the final Happy Sock Advent Calendar reveal. I am so excited I've had to put on an adult nappy. Now fortunately it's Christmas Eve, I'm not at work this year, fantastic. So we're going to spend a nice relaxing Christmas Eve in front of the TV with a cup of hot chocolate, some popcorn and other Christmassy treats and we're going to watch some Christmas movies, maybe National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Love Actually, maybe a bit of Sound of Music, it's not strictly Christmas but they always show it at Christmas here in the UK and I think this year is no exception. So I've got my lovely onesie on, look. My lovely Christmassy onesie with uh, my little pocket here to keep my hands warm or to put treats in, I suppose. And uh, here's the full effect. You see, I've been modelling socks for 24 days nearly, or 23 days, and well, I've just got the knack, haven't I, of modelling, I think. <laughs> a little bit big on me, but uh, I'm sure it will ride up with wear, as they used to say in uh, Are You Being Served? Okay then. Right, now I have got something on. Don't, don't, I'm not revealing too much. Okay, well, shall I just go for it? Because I've got to show you today's Happy Sock, the final one, which I am hoping and praying that will be at least a Christmassy themed sock. Please, 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 Happy Sock Company. And again, I can assure you I have not looked in any of these drawers before I've made the videos. So my excitement and delight is completely spontaneous. So not rehearsed at all. I've had to redo odd bits where things have gone wrong, but you know, the actual pulling out of the sock I tend to do that in the first take. Anyway, fingers crossed that we're going to get something with maybe Santa Claus on, pine trees, reindeers, jingle bells. I don't care as long as it resembles some sort of a Christmas theme. Please, please, please. Happy Sock Company. Let's have a Christmas sock for Christmas Eve. Well, on this auspicious occasion, I had to get Mr Nutcracker here to oversee the proceedings. As you can see, he is open-mouthed with excitement. Got a gear. So, here it is. Don't spoil my Christmas, Happy Socks, please don't. Let us have a Christmas sock. I'm sure you make Christmas-themed socks, you must do. I'm sure they celebrate Christmas in Sweden. I've seen Christmas stuff in Ikea, so I know they do. Ooh, okay, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to reveal the final sock in the 2019 Happy Sock Advent Calendar. Okay. Oh, oh, it's looking promising. I can see reds and greens. A candy stripe. A candy cane. Well, I think we've got a Christmas sock. Okay. Well, um, mm, well, yes, it is. We can say it is sort of Christmassy because I've seen candy canes like this in the shops at Christmas and some people decorate their Christmas tree with candy canes. So I suppose, yes, we could call this a Christmas sock. It's not overly Christmassy, is it? I could have, I would have preferred candy canes, Christmas trees, Santas, reindeers, jingle bells. I would have liked the whole shebang, to be honest. So I am a little, a, a, a little bit crestfallen. So maybe for 2020, if you're listening, Happy Sock Company, just pull out all the stops, will you, for December the 24th. I don't know if I'll be revealing any Happy Socks, because after 
the show I've made of myself during this Advent series. I don't think I'll be doing the Happy Sock Advent calendar again, but <laughs> if I get another, of course I will. I will do it for you. But there you go, they're still nice and they still have a sort of Christmas theme. We've got shocking bright pink for the cuff, a fresh green for the background, a bright blue for the toe, yellow for the heel and of course we've got some multicoloured candy canes and some traditional red and white red and white striped ones. So for the very final time I'm going to model the last pair of happy socks for 2019. So there you go, the final sock in the Happy Sock Advent Calendar 2019, Candy Canes for Christmas Eve. Not quite as Christmassy as I was hoping for, but certainly an improvement on last year's Christmas Eve sock. I will certainly be wearing these on Christmas Day when I'm opening all my lovely presents. Hopefully no one's bought me any socks this year because I think I've got enough. Look at that! They go really well with my Christmas onesie, don't they? Absolutely brilliant. The final pair of happy socks. Well folks, this is what 24 pairs of happy socks looks like and it's like my life is flashing before my eyes. I expect to see these happy socks in my final moments on this earth and it's brought back so many memories. I hope it has for you as well. And <laughs> going by happy socks promise there'd be less argyles. They certainly stood by their promise and we really only had one Argyle sock. So I'll just run through them for you in case you want to be reminded of happier times. So December the 1st we had this black and red plaid type sock. Gingham plaid, I don't know. Then we had for December the 2nd this snooker or pool inspired sock and then this one which I can obviously see what it is now it's a pair of hands making the heart symbol for December the 3rd the 4th just some stripes then for the 5th we got what uh, most people agreed were pizza socks and then for the 6th just this fairly plain grey mall with a little bit of a, a diamond design at the top then we had the doggy socks for December the 7th, followed by what I've been called, uh, told are called park socks. Um, that is not mushy peas or a pool of sick, but these are a park design, apparently, what you'd find in the average park. Then, a little bit normal, I suppose, for happy socks for December the 9th, some polka dots. Then December the 10th, we had some black serpent socks spitting venom. For the 11th, again, a fairly plain design, combination of colour blocking and stripes. And then for the 12th, we had this, one of my favourites, this sort of cube design in various shades of blue, bits of red. And then moving on to the second row here, for the 13th sock, unlucky for some, it was just spots and colour blocks. 14th, we had the flames. 15th, a bold stripe. 16th, again a mixture of stripes and solid colours. And then for the 17th, that's when we got the argyle. 18th, apparently, these are pigeons and doves. 19th, 
we have the crosses or kisses. 20th, again, one of my favorite pairs, these geometric oblongs. And then for the 21st, the sort of undersea, tropical, or I don't know, psychedelic plants. Then I believe we, first time I'm seeing these when I got them out, these were modeled by some <laughs> some road worker that I managed to get to model while I was a bit under the weather for, for day 22. And for 23rd of December, of course, we had various fast foods depicted on a black sock. And then of course, today, Christmas Eve, I revealed the final happy sock. Quite a nice Christmassy theme. We've got the candy canes. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for sharing my journey through 24 pairs of happy socks. We've been through good times, we've been through bad times, but we've come out of the end stronger and certainly with a lot more socks. So it's been a pleasure. Thank you for all your comments. I hope you've enjoyed following my story, following my slow descent into madness. Now it's off to Ikea, very appropriate, another Swedish company, to buy a chest of drawers to put all these happy socks in. So if I don't see you before, have a happy Christmas and a peaceful and prosperous 2020. And if you've enjoyed this, why don't you subscribe to this channel and you might see what else I get up to in my sad, lonely, pathetic life. So until then, another great big thank you to the Happy Sock Company for providing these socks, providing this advent calendar. It looks a bit sad, empty now. But if it wasn't for the Happy Sock Company, I wouldn't have done this this year. So it's because of them you've seen another year of me modelling 24 pairs of socks. I hope it was worth it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.